this week's Bunkai strategies, what we're looking at is a familiar kind of move. You can see it in Hian Sandam, perform with the feet together, and um, in kata like um, Seunshin, where it's actually performed as a turn into Sanchin Dash. So the key here um, is that we can use it in many, many different ways. And there's ways that I particularly like to use it, and then there's ways that uh, we, we try and keep a bit quiet because they can be a bit nasty. So, simplest one, really, that you know, when people say, How do you teach children bunkai? We want to steer clear of this idea that there's two punches coming in, and one's high and one's low, and I've got to know exactly which way up they're going to be because maybe they're up the other way, and I'm, oh, I'm going to have to change that and put it up that way as well. Because no one's going to attack you like this, and so the distance is wrong. I didn't actually need to go there. These things um, don't work well for us without our particular outlook on how applications work. So taking the very, very simplest idea uh, is that we come in with a, a realistic type of attack. So let's go for the big old-fashioned hook punch. And all that happens there is that you stop that and hit. Now, the reason that that simplest idea isn't a terrible one, because, let's face it, it doesn't utilise all the parts of the, the technique as it's taught, is that it actually makes a, a really nice reaction in the body. We've shown this a few times already. If we get the human body in its, in its normal, natural form, and we give it a whack, it can take a fair shot. But as soon as this arm comes up, then this becomes very, very delicate. So the act of him throwing that punch actually makes this area weak. And that's why we see these kind of turn and drop and make this move come together just like it's performed in Seon